Welcome to the Daily Stock Market Update. The DSCX remained in the green zone for the fourth consecutive day and gained by 98 points or 1.46 percent, settling at 6,766 points. Mega turnover was BDT 9.99 billion, which is a decrease of 5.89 percent compared to the last trading day. GP Roby and Bangladesh Submarine Cable from the telecommunication sector, Square Pharmaceuticals, Mexico Pharmaceuticals, Orient Pharma and the Acme Laboratories from the pharmaceutical sector and Beximco, GPH Ishpat and BSRM Steels from the industrial sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, the cement sector registered the highest gain of 3.31% while the NBFI sector posted the second highest gain of 2.30%. On the other hand, the tannery sector registered the highest loss of 0.43%. Seven industrial companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Esalom Cold Road Steels, BDCom Online and Reliance won the first scheme of Reliance Insurance Mutual Fund, registered the highest gain, while United Insurance, Libra Infusions and the Meech Textiles were the top losers. Investors continued to exert buying pressure on BDCom stock even though the company recently disclosed that there is no price sensitive information behind the stock's recent hike in price and volume. On the other hand, the Meech Textiles fell in value today as the company responded to a query from DSC that there is no undisclosed price sensitive information behind its recent price and volume hike. Despite declaring a 10% cash dividend, investors may have rushed to offload their positions in United Insurance's stock as the company announced a decline in its annual earnings. There is no price sensitive information for the remaining stocks. The trading volume of IT consultants, BDCom Online and Kashim Industries increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. The trading volume of BDCom Online rose significantly even though the company disclosed in response to a DAC query that there is no price sensitive information behind its recent volume hike. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Today's top two news. Both apparel shipments to Russia and exports receipts from Russian buyers are showing a falling trend due to the Russia-Ukraine war. Impediments such as unwillingness of shipping companies to transport products to Russia, exclusion of several Russian banks from the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication and inability to receive payments from Russian importers are creating uncertainty for around 150 local apparel exporters in Bangladesh. Bangladesh Bank has advised scheduled banks to remain alert regarding opening letters of credit and also to hold transactions with sanctioned Russian banks via the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication system to avoid secondary sanctions. Recently, Western countries have imposed sanctions on a couple of Russian and Belarusian banks. Project-related transactions between Russia and Bangladesh will be halted until alternative arrangements are set up. Banks can, however, still continue payments with non-sanctioned Russian banks through Singapore and Hong Kong. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow LR Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.